Hi, this presentation will cover linear and affine combinations and weighted averages. You can find the material in the book in section 5.1.2. Uh, first of all, some definitions for this. So for these definitions, we'll let x1 through xk be points in Rs for some s greater than or equal to 1. A, the first definition then is a linear combination of x1 through xk is an expression of the form alpha 1 x1 plus alpha 2 x2 plus dot 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 alpha k xk, which we can also write in shorthand notation, the summation of i equals 1 to k of alpha i xi, where the alpha i values are scalars, they're real numbers. A linear combination is an affine combination if the coefficients sum to 1. So an affine combination is a linear combination of the above form such that alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha k equals 1. So the coefficients sum to 1. A weighted average is an affine combination such that in addition to summing to 1, the coefficients are all greater than or equal to 0. So since they're all greater than or equal to 0 and they all add up to 1, that means they're all in the range 0 to 1, in fact. So pictorially, to understand what's going on here, suppose let's just take a simple case with k equals 2 and let's work in R2. So suppose I've got the two points x1, x2, which we can view either as points or vectors. And let's suppose that x1 and x2 are linearly independent. So you can't write one of them as a scalar multiple of the other. Okay. Well then, the linear combinations of x1 and x2, if you consider all possible linear combinations of x1 and x2, you get the whole plane. They give all of R2. Because as linear the independent vectors in R2, they span the entire plane, and spanning the entire plane just means that you can, any point in the plane you can write as a multiple alpha 1 times x1 plus a multiple alpha 2 times x2, and that's a linear combination. Affine combinations of x1 and x2, they give the line containing x1 and x2. So let's draw the line here containing x1 and x2. That's a line L. This gives, these give all points on L. On the line L containing x1 and x2. Okay, and we saw this already from the previous presentation about linear interpolation, because with linear interpolation, we had expressions of the form 1 minus alpha times x1, I'll call it, plus alpha times x2. Last time we called them x's and y's, and these give points on the line, either between x1 and x2, or 
on the line outside of the line segment joining x1 and x2. Um, and, but of course the coefficients sum exactly to one because one minus alpha plus alpha equals one, and that makes it an affine combination. Weighted averages give the line segment x1 and x2. These give the line segment joining x1 and x2. So this line segment is sitting in the picture right here, of course. And so this is where the, the weighted averages sit, is between x1 and x2. An important but simple property is that affine combinations are preserved under affine transformations. Linear combinations are preserved under linear transformations. So let me state this as a theorem here. Theorem one, part one, is linear combinations save the form the summation alpha i xi i equals one to k are preserved under linear transformations A. What this means is the following, is that the following holds for all values of alpha i, A of alpha 1 x1 plus dot dot alpha k xk equals alpha 1 a of x1 plus dot 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 alpha k xk. And this property is just immediate from the fact that, from the definition of linear transformations, that they, linear transformations respect multiplication by scalar and respect summation. So let's call this property star, but this was actually essentially the definition of what a linear transformation was, was that satisfied this kind of property. But the second part here is that affine combinations summation i equals 1 to k of alpha i x i are preserved under affine transformations. So the point of this theorem is we're frequently moving things around in space using affine transformations. And in particular, we're using moving around things like vertices of triangles or other points on that, that control items, positions. And so the part two just tells us that if we move, say, the points of a triangle around according to affine transformation, we also move the entire interior of the triangle around by the affine transformation. Um, so we'll, we'll see how this comes up here. But let's, for the moment, let's just give a proof here, is uh, let's take a affine combination. As I said already, one is easy, so let's prove two. Let's take an affine transformation. Uh, so let a of x be affine transformation, be a affine transformation. So a of x equals b of x plus u, where b is linear and u is a vector. We need to prove that star holds here, that these two things are equal. So let's start with the right hand side. Alpha 1 a of x1 plus dot 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 alpha k a of x k, that's equal to, by the definition of A in terms of B and U, that's equal to alpha 1 
b of x1 plus alpha 1u plus dot 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 alpha k b of xk plus alpha k u So regrouping a little bit, that's alpha 1 b of x1 plus dot 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 alpha k b of xk. I've just taken the terms involving the b's. And then that's plus u. And this is since alpha 1 plus alpha dot 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 alpha k equals u equals 1, I mean. And then this is equal to b of alpha 1 x1 plus dot 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 alpha k xk. Um, plus u again by the linearity of b. Or by part one of the theorem if you prefer. And that's equal to a of alpha 1 x1 plus dot 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 alpha k xk as desired. And that proves the theorem. Okay, as I said already, this will be convenient for doing things like moving triangles around, and later on when we get to Bezier curves, we'll use it to move control points on Bezier curves around, and this theorem will say that everything works out the way it should. It's the end of this presentation. Thank you very much.